One UI might get a feature similar to iOS's stolen device protection thanks to a new tool Google is working on for Android. This tool, called Identity Check, will make you use your fingerprint or face to unlock certain apps. They will help protect your privacy and reduce the risk of unauthorized access. Samsung is adding all of Android's security and privacy features to One UI. There's a good chance that a feature similar to iOS's stolen device protection will be available on Galaxy devices. Since it's still in development, not much information is available yet on how it will work. Research indicates that Android may soon introduce an identity check feature. This feature will require you to use your fingerprint or face to unlock apps, but only if your device is outside a trusted location. Michel Rahman found a new string in the settings app that says identity check is on. This suggests the feature is being developed. The app also contains code to display this message when Android's biometric prompt is activated. It is believed that Google, the maker of Pixel devices, is setting up Android to ignore the usual biometric prompt when apps allow a PIN, password, or pattern as a backup option. Instead, the system will require biometric verification, such as a fingerprint or face scan. This feature is expected to be triggered only when your device is outside trusted locations, like your home. This feature might be introduced through an upgrade to the Trusted Places tool, which keeps your phone unlocked when you're in a trusted location. With the upgrade, trusted locations could be used to decide when biometric authentication for apps is required. Google is currently testing Android 15's new features through its QPR beta program. During this program, the company will try out different improvements across the operating system. These updates are expected to be released later through feature drop updates. We're now in mid-September and there's still no sign of the One UI 7 beta being released yet. It's still uncertain if One UI 7 is really coming soon, especially since there's talk of a delay in the beta program. Some even think Samsung might skip the beta entirely and go straight to the public release. With the developer conference just around the corner, there's still no word on the beta for the Galaxy S24 series. Back in mid-July, there were rumors that the beta would start on July 31 in South Korea, but that didn't happen. Check firm which tracks Samsung firmware, hasn't found any beta test builds yet. Samsung seems to be moving ahead with developing One UI 7, but it's hard to predict exactly when the beta will launch for the S24 series. It looks like the delay in the One UI 7 beta might have something to do with Android 15. The Pixel 9 series, which launched last month, came with last year's OS instead of the latest version, hinting that Google may still be finalizing Android 15. That's it for today. What's your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments section. As always, see you in the next video. Peace out.